Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to remember somebody of unquestionable talent, somebody who appealed to and spoke to a people of all types, ages, and cliques, and who some, somebody who also never stopped finding different ways of expressing coolness. Of course, I'm speaking of Minnesota's native son, Prince, who tragically passed away this last week in Chanhassen, uh, my hometown. Prince was the personification of limitless ability and creativity, and even better for Minnesotans, he was one of us. For me, the music of Prince was intertwined with growing up in Chanhassen. I remember, remember spending time with high school friends after a football game or a soccer game. We'd take the time to actually drive up his driveway, which we thought was kind of fascinating. We'd head over to his house, and we were a little entranced with his simple purple split-level house. The fact that the man responsible for some of our favorite songs and music was living right in our backyard seemed actually too good to be true. I remember my very first concert I went to was also Prince on his Purple Rain tour back in 1984 at the St. Paul Civic Center. To hear his contemporaries tell the story, Prince's guitar playing simply was indescribable. And if the best musicians of our day can't find the words to express how talented he really was, I certainly can't find a way to express the skill that he possessed. Of course, he was much more than his guitar playing. He could also sing and play numerous other instruments and write hit after hit. But what inspires so many is that it shows that greatness lives within us. Prince grew up in Minneapolis. He didn't have any formal classical music training at an elite school, but he did rise to the top of the music world, and he never looked back. And even with all the stories that we've heard over the past several days and week about the greatness of Prince, more inspiring are the stories of him extending help, a helping hand to help lift others up in times of need. Stories of how he was very active in our community. Just a few weeks before he passed away, he played a very surprise show with friends at the Chanhassen Dinner the Theater, a very popular venue, a Minnesota favorite, somewhere I worked as a high school busboy. And day after day, we're hearing stories now of donations to schools, to different causes, and of course to people. And those are the folks that people uh, made happy in terms of their time of need. Prince had a giving heart. And ultimately, it's for these reasons that we've seen the outpouring of grief from around Minnesota, from around the country, and also from around the world. As we continue to remember Prince, the man and his music, it's his words from one of his earliest top hits, 1999, that helps put things in perspective. He says, but life is just a party and parties weren't meant to last. And while his party has certainly sadly come to an end, these lyrics remind us each and every day to live those days to the fullest and to set out to achieve great things. We'll miss Prince Rogers Nelson. May he rest in peace. Yield back. The gentleman